Oh, hello there. Yes. It's cold again, isn't it? Boo. Yes. Anyway, um, some of you yesterday may have heard the news that our education secretary was a bit disturbed by a school where pupils had written letters to the local MP about um, stuff going on in and around Downing Street and parties and things and actually having a viewpoint. Um, and um, today's, well, sort of today's, it'll be tomorrow's Daily Mail, but it's, it's up online at the moment, it has a piece with by Frank Faridi. Yes, of Spiked magazine, so we know it's going to be a very, very well-reasoned piece. Yes, anyway, is this picture proof that some schools are turning into anti-Tory indoctrination factories? Mm, no question mark, but anyway, yes, and the simple answer is obviously no. Yeah, that didn't take long. Um, I actually had a bit of an exchange with Frank uh, vis-a-vis this. I did point out to him that there was nothing in the article realistically to suggest that anything was being done wrong. Uh, the article does have a brilliant picture of uh, children in a classroom pointing at a whiteboard. And it also has a picture of um, 1950s, I'm guessing, Maoist China. Uh, and the two are really similar apart from the jet fighters and the pictures of Mao which uh, aren't in the classroom, sorry. Um, anyway, um, yes, when I suggested to him um, I, 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 on Twitter, obviously, uh, what does what this does is stir a climate to get your backers' views into the education system and stifle debate. And what he said was, I can live with that. When I taught, I used to have discussions about anarchism, communism, fascism, etc. But my goal was to cultivate their intellectual independence and not promote my political views. Yes, indeed, Frank. And that's exactly what was probably happening in the classroom. Realistically, wasn't it? Because uh, the teacher would be following the national curriculum, which has been set out by this government for the past 12 years and is overseen by Ofsted. And uh, the releasing this stuff, as the school did, it was uh, primary school in Nottingham, these pupils were 10, releasing this stuff was okayed by the head. And none of, none of the teachers at the time saw anything wrong with it. It's just that presumably a parent, probably a parent, thought, mm, oh, that looks a bit dodgy. And therefore... The whole thing has blown up. But realistically, if you read the article, I'll link down below, um, you can see that it's just a civics lesson, if you like. And um, that's it. I don't know, I'm starting to get really bored with this stuff. Because people must surely understand that there's a difference between teaching about something and teaching somebody to be something. I mean, you know, if you want to live in a world where, for example, you're going to believe that uh, if a boy goes into a toy shop and sees a doll, that at some stage it's going to affect their sexuality, then by all means do that. But you live in a world that's not real. And Frank is more than happy to poke a stick into that world and say, oh yes, your ideas are perfectly correct. Isn't it dreadful? Isn't it dreadful? It's no wonder people, young people vote left wing. It's got nothing to do with the economy. Trust me, I'm a sociology teacher, so I know all about the links between education and the economy and people's views. But I'm going to ignore that because I work for Spikes. A spiked. I can live with that. I can live with that. I can live with the fact that I have a particular political agenda. I don't mind. I used to be a member of the Revolutionary Communist Party. Odd that I'm not anymore. Odd that I'm not. <sighs> I'm just bored with it. I must admit, I'm just bored with the whole, whole thing. And the thing I dislike intensely about it is that it encourages certain individuals to see me as a traitor or an enemy of the state. Thanks, Frank. <sighs> That's a bit Maoist, really, isn't it? Anyway, have a lovely day. It's nearly the weekend. It's nearly half term and I'm hoping it's going to be warmer. <laughs>